Okay guys, today we're gonna go over our full cover tips. We've recently come out with these. Love them, they're great. It's what I use when I do fashion shows, photo shoots. Um, but there are a few little tips and tricks to make sure that they adhere well or that you size them right. So we're gonna go over those today. First things first, glasses, and hair goes back. Maybe not essential to you, but essential to me. So, okay, we have our Coffin Master Nail Tips here, which I thought I would use since I have grown out Coffin Nails on the other hand. Um, so the first thing I would say is if you're doing a customer, right the easiest thing to do is just go ahead and size them out first thing otherwise if you are halfway into it and then you're sizing each one as you go it just it, it's more of a pain so i tend to size them prior okay that one's good i'm going to show you on this one what kind of size or fit let's say that you want so these go to zero through nine so typically three and four and five are my most used ones. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do the pointer. I think this one, the three, will be a little too big, but we're gonna try it. And if you look, so I'm barely putting any pressure down and you, and you don't want to have to put pressure down and I'll show you that when we do a tip that's too small. But I'm barely putting any pressure down and when I put glue on, I am gonna have to apply a little pressure so I can feel right away that it's overlapping onto my sidewalls, which would tell me that it's too big. Now, if we get a nail that's too big, again, I'm trying guys, I'm trying, bear with me, okay? And don't pay attention to my grown out nails. Those are being saved for a different video. When I put it down, my nail's just gonna look too wide, too big. It's, it's not gonna feel very comfortable and you risk, if you're doing glue, you risk uh, getting glue on the skin or gel or acrylic, whatever you're adhering the tip with. It's probably gonna overflow onto your sidewalls. So again, this is just too big. I'm pretty sure that this one is going to be the right size, which is our number four. So I'm gonna skip ahead. I'm gonna go to number five and show you what happens when you get a tip that it's too small. Okay, so if we put this down, right? Now, if I put it down and just gently hold it with a little bit of pressure like I would with the glue, I can feel that it's not going from sidewall to sidewall you can see that it's not reaching all the way over. So it's it's short of where I need it to be. Now, what we tend to do with regular tips or full cover tips, we're like, well, no problem. I'm just gonna put more pressure down, right? So I put more pressure down, I'm like, oh, I got it, I made it. But here's the problem. Whatever I adhere this with, right? Glue, gel, acrylic, whatever I decide to adhere it with, it's gonna immediately wanna start pulling because I'm forcing it to go down. It's just not a light pressure, I'm pushing down. So the minute over time, probably within a couple of days, maybe a week, I'm cleaning the house, I hit the, uh, I never clean the house, but if I was to clean the house, uh, if I hit something just straight on, that nail's gonna pop. You're gonna either, it's gonna pop completely off or we see that dreaded bubble right in the center, that air pocket, which we don't wanna see either. So too small that's what happens when we go too small so let's go here so this would be the four and I'm putting it down and I'm just putting that light pressure like if I was pushing on it with glue and it goes from one side to the other it fits comfortably again I'm gonna hold it and try to show you it gives me a nice width does it make my nail look fat or thick or anything like that? This is what I would sculpt it as. That feels good, I like it. Now, we can run into the issue of, I'm somewhere in the middle. Like, that tip doesn't fit it quite, that tip doesn't fit it quite. Uh, either I'm going too small or too large, what should I do, Tracy? I would rather see you go a little bit bigger and have to come in and file it a little bit on the sides than going too small. Again, too small 
you're gonna run into that problem of air pocket or popping off. So if you have to go a tad bigger and go, okay, I'm just gonna take in those sides a little bit. It shouldn't be too much too big. Then you can put it on and fit the nail. I'd rather see you do it that way. Okay, so I'm trying to think, I think that's all the issues I have with fit. Again, I would always go through and go ahead and size those fingers out. We know that one worked for the pointer. This one was my thumb. Let's go middle. Middle is probably gonna be that number three. Okay, yep, again, I'm putting light pressure. It's going from side to side. Now guys, here, this actually is a good, um, good one because it's a slightly too big, slightly. But I know if I go the number four, I'm put, having to put pressure to meet it side to side. So again, I'm gonna just take a look at how wide, too wide it is. It's very minimal. It's just slightly touching. I'm gonna shave in the walls just a tad. Fit it again. I'll dust it off in a second. Yeah, it just took a very little. So again, I'd rather go a little bit too big, right, than too small. And this goes for full cover tips or regular tips. Okay, so we have that one. Typically, typically, this finger and this finger are the same size. So kind of just makes it go faster if you know that. And you can see why these are the sizes that go quicker. Yep, same size. And then pinky, pinky, I'm thinking I'm gonna be a seven. You would think I would know for sure by now, but I don't. Yeah, cool. So there's my sizing. So do the other hand. Typically, the other hand will be almost exactly the same. One hand sometimes is a little bit bigger than the other, but typically the, the sizing will be the same. But it's easier just to size them out right away. Now we can pull out the glue. We can go ahead and put the box away. We're set, we're ready to go. Okay, for applying the tips, right? We're not gonna apply all these. We'll just kind of stick with the ring or pointer finger, right? prep for it, right? If I want these to last more than a day or two, right? I wanna prep it. And how do I prep it? I prep it exactly the same way I would prep for an artificial nail, okay? So I'm gonna start by, I literally don't know where anything is up here. Greg's been up here. Okay, so we're just gonna grab this instead of my magic wand. We're gonna start by pushing back those cuticles. Okay, right? Quick, easy, remember, that doesn't take long to do. I'm gonna go switch out to our medium sanding arbor band. I was filing all my nails before this, so I'm gonna go ahead and reuse it because it's mine. I was just using it. Typically for a client, I replace those every time. And we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. And I typically like to prep around 4,000 RPMs. We're gonna make sure, the first thing I always hit before I do anything else, because I wanna make sure it's done right, is I always make sure to prep the cuticle area. Now we're not tilting our arbor band at an extreme angle, it's just a slight angle to tuck in there, right? All the way around, it's good. Then I hold my bit flat. You never want to angle your arbor band or any bit really like this and go through because that's what's going to create those ring of fire. So I always try to hold it completely flat onto the nail. And then I'm just going to go through and remove shine. Again, it's not, doesn't take forever, just real quick. Should you use a medium or a fine arbor band when you're prepping? I always use a medium. Fine is just too fine. It's more like buffing the nail than it is prepping the nail. So there's that. Let's grab our swipe. Let's cleanse our nail off. I like to do it with a brush. Okay. Pulling down, making sure we're removing the dust from the side walls versus side by sideways. Side to side, is that what it's called? Yeah, sure. Side to side, it's just gonna push the dust into the cuticles. We wanna make sure that we're pulling it out, so we're just brushing down. Okay, so we're gonna do that to all the fingers that we're working on. 
prepping the underside. Again, how long do you want these to last? Is this just a night, a party? You know, if, if personally, if this was just one night, one party, I might lightly prep like this. I probably wouldn't prep the underside and I'm just gonna stick them on because the more I prep it, the longer it's gonna last, right? But if we want them to last quite a while, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the underside. Now for this, I actually like to use our medium cross cut because it is, if you guys look, if you can see, it's just a small, smaller barrel than the sanding band, about the same grit. Um, so it's gonna fit inside the well of that tip way better. Again, it just fits in there really nicely. And then if, it, if I have a really tiny pinky, someone with a really tiny pinky, I'll use my um, round or uh, square uh, cuticle bit, the medium uh, cross cut version. Okay, so, so I'm just gonna quickly on the underside where, where it's gonna meet, right? Where it's going to touch the natural nail. I'm not gonna go all the way up because don't need to. I'm just basically gonna prep where the natural nail and tip are gonna meet. Okay, and I like to dust that off. And we're good, we're ready to rock. Now, because I'm using glue, no protein bond is necessary. We wouldn't wanna do it. Actually, it would interfere with the adhesion. We want to use our little tube glue or bullet glue or whatever, whatever you call this. Okay, so we're gonna pull it off. Take that off. Now, honestly, it depends on my mood, what I do. If I put it in the well or if I put it on the nail. I think I'm gonna put it in the well this time. Um, again, I change things up constantly. So I'm just gonna fill the well part up with the glue. And I'm going to apply it. I'm gonna start at the cuticle, I'm gonna push it in, and I'm gonna push down. And we're gonna hold. Please hold. I always hold longer than I need to because I'm so afraid of it. I've worked with some really horrible glues in the past and you let go after three years and it pops up. So I'm always afraid, but this glue is very fast. So we have it on. How long to hold? Eh, give it five seconds. You should be fine. Again, room temperature, if it's really cold, it messes with things as we know, um, but five seconds is usually a pretty, pretty good way to go. Okay, so. I have it on. Did I get it straight? Woohoo, I got it straight and everything. I'm just gonna push down and make sure everything's nicely attached. So that's how you apply the tips. Now, what if I want to apply, obviously we're not gonna leave them clear, so what if I wanna apply a gel polish or something like that over the top? What do I need to do? Can I just go over the top? No, it's just like, let's just pretend we have an artificial nail on. Same thing, we can't adhere gel polish or a top coat to a slick, smooth surface, so we need to do something about it. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna grab a 150 file. You could grab a your medium arbor band too. But I'm gonna go ahead and season it. Guys, remember, this is the most important. This is why I'm so scared. I am way more scared of a hand file than I am of an electric file. I have been sliced and diced with a hand file in the past because someone seasons it this way. Done, no. I, I'm a little obsessive about it, but I don't like to cut myself especially, and I don't like to cut other people. Since I am going to be applying like a uh, top uh, gel polish, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just file up the sides if you need to do any. Make sure that they're pretty straight with the grooves. No overhanging. I like the shape. I'm gonna go in the back, right? And I'm just gonna make sure that that's nice and blended. If you got a little lip, it happens sometimes. You didn't get the glue all the way back there because we're afraid of pushing the glue back there. Don't stress about it. It's not gonna make everything fall off. We're just gonna blend it, right? And then I'm gonna take my 150 file and I'm gonna blend all the way through. Not, not a buffer. No, 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 no buffers. Buffers, and I get it guys because I was a buffing queen for years, old school habit. We gotta get over it because when we buff, we're just smoothing it out. It's gonna cause the same problems. 
Okay, so I'm gonna grab a dry brush. I don't need swipe or anything. I just need to get the dust off. So I'm not gonna swipe it, just dry brush it. And we're good to go. We have our nail. What are we gonna do next? Just like an artificial, I'm gonna start with my protein bond. We're gonna do one coat just to give us that added insurance that we are not going to get any chipping or peeling from that artificial. And we're ready for our gel polish, which I need to find one. Let's see, let's grab one. I think I'm gonna do, let's do Windfall. This is a really pretty like, oh yeah, I like this. This is a gorgeous like green, camo green with a hint of gold in it, which is just like perfect for the winter season. Okay, first coat, clean my hand up, didn't need any there. Okay, let's get it in the light. I'm gonna cure that for, this is manicure, so I'm only gonna cure it for 30 seconds and before I do my second coat. Okay, let's get our second coat on. Probably touch up a little bit off the camera where I can actually hold it the way I want to. <laughs> It's a little difficult when filming to hold, do your own nails, cause you're trying to hold it so you guys can see. Let's do our second cure. And 30 seconds. So now I just need to top coat. I'm gonna use ultimate finish. Yes, you can use ultimate finish over gel polish over artificial. Okay, and I like to use it because it's one and done, right? This is our new version, it's very shiny, and I don't have to worry about the dispersion layer, and I'm just gonna go over the top of the dispersion layer of the manicure. If you have not tried it yet, you guys are gonna love it. Okay, so we're gonna get this in the light. And I'm gonna do a full cure of one minute. Gonna nourish my poor little cuticles. They are so dry, so red, and it's not from nails. I haven't had nails actually for a while. It's from um, boxes in the warehouse, but we are done. Hey guys, what's going on? We hope you love our videos. Let us know in the comments below what you wanna see next. To see more, head over here. To subscribe to our channel, head over here.